Hi everyone, so it was my birthday on Friday, and which is the 14th of May, and I know I put a video up yesterday but didn't finish loading or publishing for some reason. I think I hit play because I was too impatient and I wanted to make sure I loaded and so it didn't finish loading. It was my 17th birthday, one more year to the big 18 and I can legally drink. Um, yeah, uh, so which means I can get driving lessons now, so I got my license, well my provisional license. There we go. It's kind of I want to show it to you, but not show you everything on it. There you go. It's a dark picture for some reason. Um. So hopefully my actual license when I pass my test will come back much brighter. So my mom and dad got me. I kind of knew I was getting these from last year because they were like, "Are you gonna get these?" Because their driving lessons are so expensive now. They're like nearly twenty, thirty quid for a lesson. So they got me a set from Ian's School of Driving. Um, so yeah, I had one lesson already, and it's gone. It actually went okay. It wasn't too bad. I was expecting to hit something. I know they the instructor has like a pedals at their feet, like but still, if anyone knew how clumsy I was, um, yeah, I fell down the stairs this morning. So I really hurt my right arm and elbow, like missed the top step completely and fell halfway down. I would, to which my dad said, maybe you should wake up more before you try the stories in the morning. I mean, not for like five minutes. So, um, yeah, I was nearly went to A and A to make a lot of program, but clearly I haven't because I'm standing here using it. Um, Ian's when you subscribe to get lessons from them, give you a DVD about how to pass all your tests, or like your provisional and your no, you're not provisional, your theory, your hazard, and your practical test. So yeah, that will come in handy because I don't know how. Now don't have to go and buy a book on how to pass. I got a car freshener from my mum and dad, which I don't quite understand because I don't have a car. I don't know what this smells of because I haven't opened it because I didn't don't want the smell to wear out before I get in a car. So if anyone has any tips on how, like when I figure out what smell it is, how to preserve the smell, um, so then maybe I can open it after the use of my birthday present. Um, that would be handy. They also got me. So L plate. Again, I don't have a car, so I can't put them up. And also, I'm not insured to drive with them because it's kind of expensive and like really expensive for my dad's car, especially because um, it's a diesel 1.8 injected something or other. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend I know a thing about cars. I know where you put your hand and how to check your mirrors and stuff. So, yeah, quite clearly that's why I can't don't have a car yet. Uh, really random present, uh, poster bags from JML, and um, basically these are like leaflets on how to use to stay. It is a like, brown mesh bag, and rather than using a toasting machine, and um, you use, put these in your toaster, you get two in a pack and you get about 100 uses out of each of them. So we used about four uses on one of them last night, but I don't think you're really going to need to count. And they were actually Decent. I had one before I went to work. Um, it was a quick snack because I wasn't overly hungry, but I didn't know how long I was going to be working for. And um, the chefs don't make food after, don't take an order for food after half eight where I work. I'm a waitress. I got a Keisha CD, uh, the animal CD that she has. I really quite like the first track. Your love is a, your love is my drug. I keep saying that name wrong. It's about the fourth time I've recorded this video today because um, I keep running out of time or I keep hitting the wrong button or I'm like really stupid. So this is unedited again because I don't know what editing software to buy. And um, Again, if you have recommendations, please put a comment below. And please just comment anyway because I haven't got one comment yet and I'm really worried maybe that you're not liking what I'm doing or something. And I don't want to sound desperate saying, please comment on my video. But yeah, please, I'm begging you. With my Keisha CD, please, please subscribe or something. Uh, I got a book from my mum and dad. I Heart Hollywood by Lindsay Kelk. Uh, she does have a first book, this is the second in the series, um, called I Heart New York. Um, it's about a journalist, uh, basically, and her trials and tribulations in her love life. Not that I would know about what love life is like. But yeah, it's a good book. It's a quick for that for me. That's a quick read. That's like a night. 
a night, two nights if I'm reading just a little bit, or like a day on the beach or something if I go on holiday. It's not that, but like I have books which are much better and I read them much better like space of time. Um, for instance, no way, it sounds like a real geek. I read the last Harry Potter in five and a half hours. Go me, I had, I was obsessed with Harry Potter, like run around the playground and play Harry Potter with your friends obsessed in B5. Yeah. Uh, I got some chocolates from my mum and dad. Uh, these are really nice. My mum had these at Christmas from one of her customers. And they're absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Check it. I'm going to say I'm such a gorgeous but my friend got me chocolate raisins. Um, my friends ate my last pack on me. I love them. Love my friends. And I love my chocolate raisins as well. So she reimbursed me with a new packet. Uh, one of my favourite presents, which I put in the bit behind me, is a photo frame for my friend. I'm so pleased with this present. I thought it was really thoughtful. Um, it's from the twins. I, well, I just call them twins, so I'll show it to you. This is Charlie, and this is Lucy, and this is Claire, and this is Jessica, and this is me in the red. Yeah, well, there you go. And it's just got a little poem on it. Um, I thought it was really sweet. Like, I moved away from England eight years ago, nine in August, and um, I just thought it was a really cute present. Like, it was really thoughtful. So, thank you so much, girls. I really, really like it. It's like, proud to place in front of my bed at the moment. Uh, I got the Alice in Wonderland uh, Book of Shadows from Urban DK. Uh, I knew I was getting this because I made my dad go and buy it for me because I didn't want to spend the 30 quid on it. Um, it's just basically um, 16 eyeshadows, an eyeshadow primer, which I have a big bottle of, so I'm not going to open this, and two of their eyeliners. Um, I haven't actually even opened it yet, so I'll do a review and a tutorial on this next week, probably. It's probably one of the last videos I'll do for a while, and um, because of my exams, three more days of school, and then I get off and study leave. Yeah. So excited, study leave, and three weeks before my first exam. Yeah. Yeah. So I like that. I, li I love Urban Decay. I have one of their brush shadows already. Uh, what is uh, my brother for Christmas? Sorry, got me a keychain. It's kind of like the Pandora bracelets, like with the charms and stuff. I got three wee charms and um, a wee heart with the crown, one with green dots and gems on, and a little bag. Really, really sweet. Um, so he got me, he just dropped them. He got me two new beads as well. Probably, uh, Heart and crown, which is the same as one he's already got me. And a little white one. There you go. I'm dropping everything today, including myself. Oh, pants, obviously. Um, got an A4 document wallet. Because um, I kind of like to be motivated when I'm studying by pretty pictures and colours and stuff. So, yeah. I got a Yankee candle in cherry lemonade. It's pink and it. And it smells really, really sweet. It really does smell of cherries, um, which is good because sometimes you don't get them and they're not really smelly. Not Yankee Candle, though. Yankee Candle I've not been disappointed by. I got three other little charms for that wee key set. little mask. A black and green one. This camera doesn't focus very well. Uh, one with red, gold and black. And with red and orange. Uh, that was from Tiffany's on the Square in the shop. And also, this is one of my, like, along with my photo frame and my driving lessons, this is one of my favourite, 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 uh, birthday presents. Uh, a friend of mine has put some money towards a Lady Gaga ticket for the 30th of October of this year in, I think, the Odyssey in Belfast, which is four days after my formal, so I'm going to be hungover from my formal. No longer drinking during the quarantine. And, um, yeah. No, it's, it's, he's a really good friend of mine, so I'm really looking forward to going to see that with him. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this was only a little video, obviously, just to show you some of the stuff I got. It's not a brag, it's a little show. Uh, please comment and please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will do a review of the Alice Wonderland thing next week.